ladies and gentlemen, this is Osman Ali, and uh, let's do a numerical on uh, the aging schedule that we have learned in the previous video. So there is a corporation which is present in an industry that has a high rate of uh, bad debts. Okay, and before the year end adjustment, which is you need to do some adjusting entries at the end of every year because you want to find the updated values of certain elements of the balance sheet okay as per the accounting regulations so the balance in the company's account receivable was fifty five thousand dollars so their account receivable was fifty five thousand dollars in total and the allowance for doubtful account had a credit balance of thirty five thousand dollars okay now the year end uh, balance reported in the balance sheet for the allowance for doubtful account will be based on the aging schedule shown to us so this is the you can say at the start of the year the beginning values are given account receivable 55 minus uh, allowance for doubtful account 35,000 so equal to the net realizable value okay but now that we have some upgradations in the accounting records so the allowance for a fresh allowance for doubtful account will be calculated the uncollectible amount will be calculated and it will be calculated based on this table which is given to us and then we are required uh, to solve three things or to answer three things three questions what is the appropriate balance of the allowance for doubtful account that what will be the total amount of uncollectibles and obviously that would become the allowance for doubtful account also we have to calculate this one that's easy show how the account receivable will be presented in the balance sheet once the new allowance is calculated after that we have to make a partial balance sheet that how it will look like in a balance sheet and what will be the effect of this adjustment this allowance for doubtful account extra adjustment which i have done what will be the tax effect of that so let's solve it. what i have done is before start recording the video i have copied the table and i have pasted it here because this is also the part of the answer and I will calculate the uncollectible amount. So if you remember our basic video on the aging schedule, the uncollectible percentage will be multiplied with the total amount of account receivable. The, uh, the good point in the numerical is that if you compare this numerical video with the previous video on the aging schedule, so we had two steps and two tables there. Here we have only step number two directly given to us. The step number one, which was related to the aging schedules, aging groups and their totals is already done. The selected area table has already been prepared by the uh, book for us. So we will only do the step number two of this. So let's multiply 2% with 3 lakh dollar. So if we multiply 2% with 3 lakh dollar, so 2% will become 0 0.02. So that becomes $6,000. Okay, then we will multiply 1 lakh with 10%, so 10% means 0 0.10 and this will equal to $10,000. After that we have 80,000 and 15% of the 80,000 will not be recovered actually, okay. It's given here the portion of uncollectible is here. So let's multiply it, 80,000 multiply by 15 percent okay uh, let me write here zero so that it's clear so 80,000 80, multiplied by 15 percent will become twelve thousand dollars after that we have forty thousand dollars and we expect that 25 percent of this uh, forty thousand dollar will not be recovered okay so 25 percent multiplied by forty thousand dollar is equal to ten thousand dollars then we have twenty thousand dollars in the second last age group and we expect 60 percent of this money cannot be recovered so 60 percent of twenty thousand dollar is twelve thousand dollars and the last age group is fifteen thousand dollar amount and we expect that all of this money cannot be recovered so it will be 0 0.100 which means 100 percent and that would become 15,000. Now we will plus 6,000 
with 10,000 and then 12,000 plus 10,000 plus once again 10, 12,000 plus 15,000. So the total amount of money that we will have is $65,000 that will be our total. This thing, this $65,000 is actually called as our total uncollectible ladies and gentlemen. Or this will be our new allowance for doubtful account. So actually this table which I we just completed, this one, is the answer of the part number one. What will be the appropriate balance of allowance for doubtful account? Okay. Now that we know that our allowance for doubtful account will be $65,000. And we also know from the question that our account receivables are five lakh and $55,000. So let's go to the second part then. The second part says show how the account receivable would be presented in the balance sheet. Okay, how it will be presented. So uh, let's solve that one also. So what we will do is that we will do a little bit presentation of how it will be presented in the balance sheet. Okay, so I need to select a digital pen. Okay, so let's go for part B. So the part B answer or the requirement was that how the balance sheet would look like. So actually, uh, we are not going to prepare the full balance sheet. We will just prepare a partial balance sheet. So you know that a partial balance sheet uh, first, let's make a format. This is the asset side. Then we have uh, liability and we have the equity also. Okay. So as we are preparing only a partial statement, so I will only focus on the account receivable amount. Now, what was the account receivable amount? The account receivable amount was five lakh and fifty-five thousand. Okay. Sorry for the handwriting. Minus the allowance for doubtful account. So the allowance for doubtful account was 65,000 or, or let me clean it up and we do integral day so that it's visible to the people okay so this time let me make a, a bigger balance so we have the asset side the liability and we have the equity section also Okay, now we actually go for account receivable. Our account receivables are how much? It was given in the numerical that our account receivable is five lakh and fifty-five thousand dollars. And what is our new allowance for doubtful account? Our allowance for doubtful account is sixty-five thousand according to our new calculation. So allowance for doubtful account is subtracted always, and the remainder would be four lakh and $90,000 so this is how uh, it will be actually presented the allowance for doubtful account so that's the answer of the part B our last part uh, is what will be the dollar effect of the year at uh, year and bad debt adjustment okay on the taxable income so obviously these bad debt expenses uh, goes to the income statement and they are subtracted actually so they decrease so overall the effect would be that it will decrease the income of the company taxable income of the company but the question could be how by how much dollar it will decrease the taxable income of the company so it's very simple how much is our new balance sixty five thousand dollars so what we're going to do is that in order to calculate our new balance we will write the, uh, the sorry the difference or the adjustment needed so we will write the new balance minus the old balance so what is our old balance? The, our old balance was $35,000. So if I minus 35,000 from 65,000, so we will have a balance of $30,000. It means that we need an adjustment of only $30,000, ladies and gentlemen, okay? And this $30,000 will actually decrease the taxable income of the company, okay? So, or you can say that the taxable income of the company will decrease by $30,000 after the adjustment of bad debts. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, these were the three uh, answers of uh, this numerical. Thank you very much. Stay safe.